Jacqueline Hornberg here and welcome to another edition of Rural Ramble on the Road. Today we're out at the feedlot of Tim Fritz and we're going to be talking about data, how he's collecting it and how he's using that information to drive performance in his feedlot. Feed accounts for a significant portion of the input costs when it comes to feeding cattle. Feed intake and the utilization of those feed resources can dramatically impact the profitability of your business. As feed ingredient prices continue to climb and fluctuate, that can become even more pronounced. Just measuring your average daily gain doesn't give you a clear picture of the efficiency or the cost that it took for those cattle to gain. That is where the value of accurate data becomes even more important. We are joined by Tim Fritz and Dallas Coltis. So what type of data are you guys collecting here in the feedlot? I guess with feed being our <clears throat> major input costs, we track uh, specific ingredient costs um, as they go higher or lower. Um, it gives us a real firm number on uh, our cost of gain. And how are you able to make use of some of the data that you're collecting here when you're looking at pens of cattle and performance? Uh, being able to consist or be, being able to see the consistency of the feed intakes on each individual pen and making sure that these graphs and data is showing that these cattle are always consistently going ahead. When the calves are done or the penny yearlings, whatever it may be, are done, we can go back and see how these cattle have performed. Um, and having those, all this data right together the day those cattle go and having those weights back, we know what those cattle have either gained or lost that day, not a month down the road when you get the clothes that done on paper. collect real-time data gives you the opportunity to make changes that can affect the performance of the cattle today. After all, you can't manage what you don't measure. Thanks for joining us and we hope that we'll see you next time in Rural Ramble on the Road.